Hi, and welcome to episode 23 of Pilates Flows at Atlantis, a series where I will demonstrate and give you the tools to do the sequences I post on Instagram. Now let's get started. First, place all the springs on to secure the carriage. Then grab the box and place the box side box style over the shoulder blocks. Get onto the box facing the foot bar. Hook both feet underneath your strap at the bottom of the reformer and grab your ring. To perform the first move, start by tucking your tailbone under. Keep your hips anchored onto the box as you roll down one vertebrae at a time, engaging through your abdominals and squeezing the ring. Go as low as you can before you start to feel your hip flexors engage. Then inhale and carefully roll back up to a seated position. To perform the second move, again, we will tuck our pelvis under and begin to roll down one vertebrae at a time. As you start to roll, twist from your waist towards one side of the reformer, bringing the ring out as far as you can and squeezing. At the same time, exhale, pulling the abdominals in. Then carefully start to untwist the torso and roll back up to your seated position. Remember, in this move, we're keeping both sit bones anchored down onto the box through the entire movement. To perform the third move, we will again tuck your pelvis under, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Twist from your waist, bringing the ring out to the side. Once you've lowered as far as you can, bring the ring across your body, keeping your eyes on the ring at all times. When the ring crosses to the opposite side of the reformer, we will then start to roll up and untwist to face the foot bar. Remember, again, we are keeping both hip bones anchored down onto the box. All right, and that is it for today's video. Now remember, for this abdominal series, we had three different variations we practiced. Our first is our standard rollback. So again, we started on the box, feet underneath the strap, our ring in our hands outstretch. From there, we tuck the pelvis under and roll down one vertebrae at a time, keeping the center of abdominals, trying to keep our thighs and our hip flexors relaxed as we roll back, going as deep as you can, at the same time, giving that ring a little squeeze. Once you go as deep as you can, we then inhale and roll up one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way back up to that seated position. Think perfect posture every time you're seated, lengthening the spine back out. Then for our second variation, we worked in toro obliques. So we started the same way, hips and everything squared toward the bottom of the reformer, tuck the pelvis, start to roll down. And at the same time, we added a torso twist to get into those obliques, bringing the ring across to one side of the reformer. And again, giving that ring a little squeeze as we go as deep as we can back. Then once you reach that uh, final position, we inhale, bringing the ring back, untwisting the torso, coming all the way back up to seated. Then for our third variation, we did our around the world variation. For that variation, again, you started seated. As you began to roll back, we twisted the torso to one side, taking that ring out as far as we could, once you took the ring out, we then brought it across our body before starting to inhale and untwist, coming back to center and rolling all the way back up to seated. Now, that is it for today. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned something, please leave me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.